is. Thanks for clicking today's Reddit Rose report. What news have I got today that's kind of strange? Well, I don't know about strange, but kind of slow news today, so I can get through this fairly quick for you, so don't just hang on. While uh, Triple H and Undertaker appeared in segments with Kane and Daniel Bryan against The Shield in last week's TV uh, tapings, word is that neither man is going to be feuding right now uh, with them anyway. And they may not be back to next year. Current plan is for Kane and Bryant to uh, defend the WWE Tag Team titles against two members of the Shield and likely at the uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And as expected, that's where Kane and Bryant's going to be dropping their title. Uh, the Rock noted on Twitter this morning that he was doing cardio workout, and later he tweeted, "I guess this could really could be serious." Said my doctor said that started. Starting uh, back training with torn abdominal uh, muscles, abdominal muscles, uh, will be a bitch. And he said, I just found out uh, he was right. Got to push through it. Uh, he said it was torn. Is I don't know if you can, man, redo uh, your torn ad abdominal muscles. Man. <clears throat> and it said that the top three NXT wrestlers, if you watch that from down south, uh, is going to be getting called up to the main roster. Probably be Bray Wyatt, Cassius Ono, and Adrian Neville. Uh, and uh, Indian singer, Adrian Neville. I thought he was. Anyway, and the former Pac, or Pac. Stephanie McMahon uh, revealed on Twitter that she's got a new theme song. It's called, called Welcome to Queendom. All right. Currently, it's available on iTunes, I guess, uh, if you want to get it. I didn't even hear music playing. Don't know if I even want it. Anyway, Ryback tweeted the following Wednesday night in his first public comments since attacking Cena on Raw last Monday. He says, doubt my inability, he says, I will run right through you. I am highly evolved machine. There is no right, no wrong, no good, no bad. Feeding time. So he's just kind of a Blah. Not a heel or a face. Or he's both. WWE Hall of Famer Harley Race turns 70 years old. Gold Dust turns 47. Balls Mahoney 41. Bill Alfonso 56. And The Rock is scheduled to appear at um, uh, appear to appear art at the premiere. I don't know what that appear art means. Anyway. At the Pain and Gain tonight in uh, Regal South Beach Stadium 18 Cinema. The red carpet uh, begins at 6.30. Tyson Kidd posted the following about his injury on Wednesday. He said, so much fun this week. Bring him, uh, being back on the road showed me how much I uh, can't wait to get back. Therapy's going well. Knee stronger than ever. Uh, as noted earlier, J Jim Ross, he'd been working on the Mid-South Wrestling DVD. It should be a great one. Ross asked fans about their ideas for the DVD on his uh, Twitter. Put good matches on it, all I can say. Oh, Shawn Michaels. He's going to be driving a NRA 500 pace car this Saturday night at uh, NRA 500 uh, Texas Motor Speedway, Dallas, Texas. Jack Swagger, he's set for trial in uh, Gulfport, Gulfport Municipal Court. Um, June 25th, and uh, the arena website for this Monday's Raw coming up in South Carolina uh, has um, some matches listed. They up kind of updated it. The site is now advertising a tag team main event match with John Cena, Alberto taking on Dolph Ziggler and Ryback. Odd pairing. Uh, this match yeah, it could be a dark match for the local crowd, and CM Punk's going to be addressing the fans for the first time since his loss since, uh, against Undertaker 29 is also listed. Uh, doesn't say he's going to say he's going to be in action. Uh, better get himself taken care of. Heal up. Tuesday's uh, WWE Hall of Fame did 1.6 million viewers, which is down from last year's 2.66 million viewers. Uh, it's just about in half. As noted earlier, WWE Studios uh, is uh, got a movie titled No One Lives and is featuring Brodus Clay. Doesn't say starring, it says featuring. Anyway, the film is scheduled to be released May 10th. Stephanie 
Uh, McMahon shares a preview of the promotional artwork, which uh, can be seen on the net. Just find it. Top Rope Pro Wrestling has announced that WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels will headline Shawn Michaels Experience on Saturday, August 30th. Uh, Zap Tuit published an uh, article on Donald Trump getting booed at the, at the Hall of Fame this past Saturday night. Oh, well. Hey, Seamus commented on reports of uh, WWE signing Rebecca Knox uh, to a developmental deal, which is, uh, she's Irish. He says, massive congrats to Becca McQuinn. I don't know why she got McQuinn on there, but uh, who just signed with uh, WWE. Uh, and uh, really looking forward to seeing her. Uh, real page WWE, tear it up at uh, WWE, in a WWE ring. All right, Scott Hall, he provided an update on his recovery from surgery um, early this morning, which I thought he had a couple of days ago. But anyway, he says, good morning, Twitter world order. He says, I'm uh, coming to you from Ken uh, Kennestone Hospital, Atlanta. Uh, recovering, uh, uh, recovering ahead of schedule, uh, hospital uh, egg whites. Dr. Kim, a surgeon, just checked me out. Uh, I walked up and down the hallway uh, with a walker. Uh, they may cut me loose this evening. Fandango's theme song is ranked, ranked number uh, 33 on the UK iTunes chart. Don't know if it's ranked anything here. But that's uh, that's about it for the update. Haven't uh, Couldn't find too much other stuff on there. So uh, if I do, I'll be back on there. If anything silly, ridiculous goes on, or get, somebody gets arrested, gets in trouble, or... Whatever. I'll be back later. Uh, otherwise, talk to you later. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.